Drones Garen 2 proved to be a highly effective means of combating the positions of Ukrainian artillery. Drones, the existence of which in the arsenal of the Russian army became known only last week, turned out to be an extremely effective means of defeating Ukrainian positions. The reason for this was the long range of such drones, as well as the ability of the latter to stay in the air for a long time. An example of the use of such drones was the destruction of the Ukrainian self-propelled guns 2S3 Acacia, which was actually torn apart, scattering individual elements of this combat vehicle within a radius of several hundred meters. The damage inflicted on the self-propelled artillery mount is critical. While it can be seen that the self-propelled gun itself was actually torn into several parts, and although this happened after the detonation of the artillery mount ammunition, the damage caused to the latter by the drone itself is very serious, since the drone carries a fairly large its power charge. According to preliminary data, Garin drones have already destroyed several artillery mounts and tanks, which, given the relatively low cost of one UAV, makes this weapon extremely effective. A Ukrainian T-64 tank was hit while trying to cross the Oskol River. During the offensive operations of the Ukrainian army and attempts to get to the left bank of the Oskol River, the Ukrainian T-64 tank, which was covering other Ukrainian military, was destroyed from the opposite bank of the river. Apparently, the tank received a direct hit from the anti-tank missile system of the Russian military, who were repelling the attack of the Ukrainian armed forces. T-64 tanks have shown greater vulnerability to anti-tank missile systems and other heavy weapons, however, the armed forces of Ukraine continue to actively use this military equipment due to the lack of more modern ones. At the moment, it is known that Ukrainian troops are already in the eastern part of Kupiansk, however, it is obvious. The latter were provided with rather more serious resistance, as a result of which the Ukrainian military suffered losses both in manpower and in equipment. The total losses of the Ukrainian army during the offensive in the Kharkiv region remain unknown, however, to date, the Ukrainian military controls almost the entire territory of the Kharkiv region, the only exception is the territory located east of the Oskol River. The base of one of the most famous PMCs in the world was destroyed by Russian strikes. On the territory of the deployment point, there were several dozen American mercenaries who, among other things, took part in the counteroffensive of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kharkov region. The successful liquidation of the mercenaries of the American PMC Academy suggests that in the near future the Ukrainian military will not be able to move on to any serious actions on the border areas with the Luhansk region, as well as in the Donetsk region, since the main tasks were assigned to the American mercenaries in the counteroffensive actions of the Ukrainian army. The bases of foreign mercenaries of the American PMC Academy, Academy, and the National Formation Kraken in the regions of Kramatorsk and Nikolivka were hit, said in the message of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation. Until now, it was assumed that the American PMC is located in the Kharkiv region, as evidenced by a video recently released by mercenaries, in which one of the members of the American private military company was indeed identified, however, apparently, the latter have now been transferred to another sector of the front. At the moment, there are no official statements from representatives of the American PMC Academy in this regard. A strong explosion thundered at the South Ukrainian nuclear power plant. The nature of the explosion at the South Ukrainian nuclear power plant is still unknown, however, as follows from the information provided by Energodom, Ukraine, the explosion occurred only 300 meters from the nuclear reactor, which created a very serious threat. In the photographs presented, taken by outdoor surveillance cameras, you can see the moment of the strongest explosion that occurred on the territory of the South Ukrainian NPP. According to representatives of Energodom, the infrastructure of the nuclear power plant was seriously damaged, however, this did not lead to any critical consequences. A powerful explosion occurred just 300 meters from the reactors of the South Nuclear Power Plant. The building of the nuclear power plant was damaged by the shock wave, more than 100 windows were broken. One of the hydroelectric units of the Alexandrovskaya HPP, which is part of the South Ukrainian energy complex, was turned off. Three high-voltage power lines were also switched off. 
all three power units of the South NPP are operating normally. Luckily, there were no casualties among the station staff, Energodom representatives report. The Ukrainian side blames Russia for what happened, however, so far it cannot provide any evidence or evidence of this, however, the incident itself that occurred at the South Ukrainian NPP poses a very serious danger, since in terms of its electrical power the South Ukrainian NPP is comparable to Chernobyl nuclear power station. Servicemen from the 35th Separate Marine Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine tried to force the Ingulets, but were ambushed and destroyed. We are talking about several dozen Ukrainian Marines who tried to force the Ingulets at night. However, the Russian military was expecting a possible breakthrough in this direction, and therefore the Ukrainian military personnel were eliminated before they could take any successful counteroffensive actions. As a result of the successful actions of the Russian military, at least 35 servicemen of the armed forces of Ukraine were eliminated in just a few minutes of fighting with Ukrainian troops ambushed, while at least 25 more people received various kinds of injuries. What is quite remarkable is that the Ukrainian servicemen did not even attempt to evacuate the seriously wounded and the dead, leaving them at the crossing. In fact, the number of wounded may be much higher, since there are reports that the medical facilities in Nikolaev are overflowing with new patients. This may indicate that the losses of the APU are much more serious. To date, Ukrainian troops are not abandoning attempts to organize an offensive in the Kherson region, however, thanks to the timely actions of the Russian military, such actions do not bring any success. The Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation reported on the failed offensive of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kherson region. As a result of an unsuccessful attack by the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kherson region, 19 tanks and armored vehicles were destroyed. The Ukrainian military made a rather serious attempt to launch an offensive in the Kherson region, sending several hundred military personnel and more than two dozen pieces of military equipment into the attack. This is one of the most active attacks by the armed forces of Ukraine in recent times, however, it was successfully repelled with heavy losses for the Ukrainian troops. As a result of repelling the attack of the armed forces of Ukraine, the Ukrainian troops lost more than 140 servicemen wounded and dead in a few hours, and at the same time lost 19 units of military armored vehicles, including five tanks. It is known that we are talking about the total losses of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Nikolaev and Kherson regions. However, much more important is the fact that Ukrainian troops are now unlikely to attempt an attack on Kherson in the coming days, since we are talking not only about the loss of military personnel, but also the loss of military equipment, without which the Ukrainian army is unlikely to be able to do anything. Today, the loss of Ukrainian military equipment is a very serious problem and, judging by the data of the Russian Defense Ministry, Ukrainian troops lost more than 60 units of military equipment in just a day. According to the Russian war correspondent Yevgeny Lysitsyn, at the moment there is an active preparation for counteroffensive operations in the Kharkov region. According to the Russian military correspondent, artillery preparation is currently being carried out in the settlements of Oskol, Borovaya, and Kupiansk, which will allow launching a sharp offensive. As a result of the artillery preparation, in order to preserve the infrastructure of settlements, it was decided to withdraw from these areas in order to pull the enemy operational groups into these areas. As a result, rocket and artillery strikes were carried out on these settlements, namely, on a massive accumulation of enemy manpower and armored vehicles. The counteroffensive begins, reports Russian war correspondent Yevgeny Lysitsyn. It is known that the Ukrainian military actually made several attempts to advance towards the border of the Kharkiv and Luhansk regions, however, the latter were unsuccessful. This does not exclude the possibility that, due to the losses incurred, a counteroffensive may indeed begin in this direction, although there are no official statements on this subject from the Russian military and the forces of the LPR so far.